Good morning, everyone. Happy rainy Wednesday. Happy, happy, happy. Today, we're going to do two pours. And then later today, we're going to do a ghost pour. This morning, I am going to do a swipe. I want two swipes, and my paint is already pre-mixed. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My paint is already mixed, and um, it's going to be easy breezy, short and sweety. Okay, short and sweety. I already have my, my wipes, my trusty little wipes that literally get this paint off of anything. In the event that you do have a mishap. So on the swipes today, I'm doing red and black. The black is the base, red is the top. On this canvas, we're doing the red and the white is the top swipe. Okay? So with that said, we're going to start so that I can go back and edit it. Today is Tuesday, it's raining. When I went out earlier, it was nice. It was almost like being on the beach. However, I went out a few minutes later and guys, it was cold. I needed a jacket. So, it's a soup day. I will be making soup today, yay. Yay, yay, yay. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to lay down the, the black. I'm going to lay down the black on the canvas. Now I'm experimenting with the canvases because these canvases I got at Wally World. For those of you that know me know that's Walmart. For those of you that don't, it's Walmart. And... They were quite cheap, and I'm like, well, let's see. So what I can tell you when you look at the canvases, what I can tell you is that the weave, the weave is actually a little bit wider here, or larger, okay? So we're going to see how this works. And as well, you guys, I reuse my K-cups, okay? I reuse my K-cups, and they hold the pictures exactly where I need them to be. I can run my hands up under all the way around with no problem. Um, I have the room for my uh, paintings to not be so close to the table. Okay? So right now I'm just going to Kind of just smooth this paint onto the canvases. And it, when, you know what? They used to say, oh, it's coming up. Don't paint when it rains. Don't paint when it rains. You shouldn't paint when it rains. The paint will never dry. I did not believe them. Let me tell you something. My paintings that I done yesterday are... Uh, not totally dry. I had them out in the garage. Of course, it's chilly, so I guess humidity in the air, I don't know. But I can tell you the normal paintings that would have been at least dry to the touch are truly not dry. So I do have some paintings over here. Um, I have them in the house strategically placed um, praying that there are no mishaps and so what I have here it's not a failure to communicate I do have a tad bit too much paint on my canvases okay well, all I'm going to do with my trusty little brush I'm going to collect some of the paint because I can definitely use this later on my ghost swipe. 
I tried the ninja, <laughs> the ninja swipe last night. So funny. I didn't flame paint everywhere, but when I did uh, flame the paint, it really didn't go anywhere. It was so funny. I'm like, okay, got to get me a, a ninja swipe tool so that it works. So that it works. So on this canvas, I want to have just enough on here so that when I swipe that you do see the background color and it's nice and vivid. I like vivid. So we've just about got all of that. Waste not, want not. I'm glad the rain is not really heavy. It's sort of uh, misty. Just enough to go burr. Because we've had so many days this year with 90 degree temperature. And everybody was saying, oh, I'll be glad when it's not cold anymore. Oh. Now, I do see something on my canvas that I want to get off. So, let me get my trusty tweezers here. And we are going to get that off. Come on. I'm not sure what that is. But you can't live on my canvas. Okay. Pretty and smooth, and let's go to the next step. I did try, found this super good buy. I think these were like 50 cents on clearance. The problem with this is that it picks up the paint here, picks up the paint here, but nothing from here to here. So this is not usable. Maybe it'll come up, it's just ergonomically correct. Right? But it doesn't work well. So, that said, we are going to go ahead and we are going to pour the red. We're going to pour the red. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. You know what? Just maybe another bargain, guys. <laughs> I love, 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 love bargains. So here. I'm going to tilt a little bit. So that the red is all over the canvas. Where I want it to be, where I want want it to be. And you know what? I may even let me tell you. So when you're doing this, your mind just sort of goes here, there, a little bit of everywhere, right? So I think I've made up enough of my white. I'm just going to place that there. I'm going to take this that I scraped off, right? I am going to come across here on the top. I'm going to come across here again on the top. Alright guys, that should be enough. Take my trusty paper towel. 
I don't need the whole towel. There we go. So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring the width of the canvas itself. I already see wonderful cells. This is my water. And I'm going to load the paper towel at the bottom. This is such an easy uh, painting adventure. And I'm going to leave this here. And it's okay to wet your canvas. And I'm going to reach for my trusty torch. And I'm going to pop any air bubbles that may be here. It looks really smooth. I don't see any, but just in case. Now, these canvases were a great price. Okay? They really were a great price. And they're showing up really neat already. So a small, I really hate to cover this up, but it looks like the canvas, what I'm looking at. And I don't want to see canvas. I want to see paint on the canvas. Okay. I see some here on the edge. I'm going to run down here. I'm going to bring that down a little bit farther. Okay. But my Nisi, what are you doing? You just took that off of the canvas. Well, sometimes you never, never, never know. That's why I kept it handy. Okay. So now, what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and take my prepared cloth and I am going to lay it at the very edge of the canvas and I am going to pull down from the top and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Boop. And now, let's see if I have any runoff. Drip, drip. That came out beautiful, guys. It came out super beautiful. Alright, and so... Put it, I have no drip. There you go. Drip, drip, drip. Come on. Come on. Okay, just because I know <laughs> that this will drip the second that, what did I tell you? The second that I move it from the canvas, it drips. So I'm glad that I covered that up because it would have hit that canvas. So pretty much, I hope that you can see the cells. If not, I'm going to fix it where you can. Okay? All right. This, my friends, is the result. So we want to let it come down some. Okay. Careful to just touch the edges. And I'm going to run that torch because I know there's paint up under there and I want to see some of it. Okay. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And also to burst any air bubbles. Come on through, paint. Come on through. So this helps. 
for the other colors to come through. Heat, some kind of way, pushes that paint up toward the top as it's bursting those air bubbles in there. Okay. And actually, this is beautiful. I need my little cup here because I see some areas like this one, this area. This area. This is my shish kebab sticks. There's one. I don't know if the paint is just soaking into this canvas. Sometimes you get what you pay for, you know? This was a cheap canvas, and so it is experiment. But that just says that if you're going to use this canvas, you're going to need to add enough paint. All righty, now. like we're all done. So my only touch up will be very small areas here where the canvas is soaking up the paint. It's, a, it's not too bad. I would use it again for like the kids. Uh, not a bad canvas. And of course the sales are coming through that showing the colors. Okay, so let me show you what this painting looks like. All right, we're done with that one. We're going to let that sit and do its thing. And we're going to come over here for the next canvas. See how it quick and easy breezy that was. Yay. All right. On this canvas, we're using the red as a base. I think I'm going to move it over a little bit so that you're able to see more. Okay. There. I always test smudge right there. However, this is the true red from Apple Barrel. And um, I'm just going to pour on the canvas. Red, 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 red. True red. And as we know, I thought I didn't have, I thought I had too much paint on that canvas and it ended up that I did not have enough because I had to touch up those spots, which still came out beautifully, still creating cells over here. It's beautiful. Okay. I love red, guys, and this is a beautiful, beautiful red. I really don't like doing this with the gloves on, but I want to get to those edges. Minimal paint loss. No jewelry maker is going to get any paint from me today, I doubt it. 
but who knows, sometimes paint just has its own mind. You know, it's like decorations. Sometimes when you have a plan, you put that plan into effect, and you take a look at it, and you're like, what was I thinking of? This is hideous. And everybody will run around and go, oh, that's beautiful, Denise. Oh, Denise, oh, that's beautiful. And I'm like, eh, no, it's not. <laughs> And they're going, you're your own worst critic. I said, absolutely, absolutely. You know, and so uh, I'll keep on until it, it looks the way. I'll rearrange, rearrange, rearrange until it looks the way I think it should look. Because whenever you're doing decorations, you actually have that vision in your mind. And so sometimes when you put things together in your mind, you actually set it up. It may not come out looking the way you think it's going to look. And when you don't see that look, trust me, you're not satisfied with it. And so, with all of that said, that is why I do what I do. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. I really, really do. Okay. So we have our sides all done. You know, I'm not really any runoff here. But, there are a couple of things I want to do, guys. You know, I do shake my paint. And so, I want to uh, get these bubbles out. No air bubbles, please. These are tiny air bubbles, so you really can't see them until you're up on them. Gee, please. <laughs> so you don't want air bubbles. In the event that you want to cover your painting in resin, right? You don't want those little air bubbles. Resin is another uh, bubble popping time. You know, I love doing resin because it just shows depth in your painting. And it's beautiful. It is totally beautiful. Sometimes it's protecting your painting, casing it in a glass like, glass like. Um, state so and it shows the depth in the pictures it's just something great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this down here because this these canvases are cheap you get what you pay for uh, it would be nice to, uh, like I had the all, girls all summer it would be nice to have the kids to do something on it but uh, keep in mind it is going to eat quite a bit of paint this canvas is a paint soaker. I need this covered well because I need the paint to be able to move. Okay? And when it moves, I don't want it to move so to the point where you're looking at canvas. Okay, now, the paint that I have made for this is the white, two parts paint, one part full trawl, water, and some drops of the Artist Loft silicone, 100% silicone. And so I may just go randomly Now, before I, 
I don't know why a song came on in my head before I let you go. Before I lay the top layer of white across the top, I want to go ahead and torch what I just laid on top of the red. Now I want to move that around a little bit and I'm also going to show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. I have to be very careful because I do have my other painting over here. Alright guys, now I don't know why today I'm interested in wiping my hands clean. But anyway, anyway. Get that to sit right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and lay the white layer right near the top. sits there. I'm going to torch it. Yep, 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 I am. And I'm going to do the same thing with the paper towel. I'm going to measure the width of the canvas. And that's why I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that extra. I am going to dampen the bottom of where I'm going to lay the towel on the canvas. I'm going to just let that sit for a second before I do that while I torch this white paint that I put here. And you know what? I just want to, just for Pete's sake, run a strip of red in here. Boop. There we go. Torch that. Beautiful. Actually, with all the cells here, I could have just leave, left the paint like that, but I think not. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to, just like I did in the previous one, I'm going to lay the damp paper towel evenly on the canvas. Okay, evenly. And I'm going to swipe. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I'm going to come back to the top and hopefully get a few drips. One, two, three, four. Come on, five, six, seven. Come on, over here, over here. Eight. All right. When and done for the trash. I'm going to use these throwaways to wipe my fingers. Guys, this is amazing. So, so amazing. And I have not even uh, torched it. Lacing all over the canvas. Lacing, lacing, lacing the war. Okay? That is from the silicone. So let me show you before I torch what this looks like. Beautiful. And I don't want to hold it down too much because it begins to move and I don't want the dripple effect. There's a lot of paint on this canvas, just saying, so I know there's a lot of dripping here. I know that it's not going to be ready by the end of day. 
Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to torch every bit of this so that the rest of the sails could go ahead and come to the top. You don't stay in any one area too long, you will burn your canvas. We already know that this is one of the El Cheapo canvases from Walmart. Or two for like four dollars. Not a bad price to experiment on, right? So if it turns out great, then you had a deal. So we learned from this canvas here that you have to have enough paint on the canvas because the canvas itself soaks up the paint. Soaks up the paint. And I see something. I don't know if that is a bubble. Let's see. Yep, it was. Now my son and daughter-in-law are Falcons and Georgia Bulldog fans. They're going to love that. Mm -hmm. They're going to love that. I need the Georgia Bulldog emblem and I maybe put the little Georgia Bulldog, the little ugly dog. They're like, he's already cute. Put him right there, bam, or right there, bam, and then cover it in resin. Okay, guys, so my bubbles are all popped. All right. So I really don't want to move this because it's quite a bit of paint. It's more paint on this canvas than there is on this one. If I move this, the paint is going to move. Um, but I will take pictures so that you are able to see it. Parts of this looks like... Um, mm, Almost like uh, alligator skin when you see the how when it came down because of the lacing. So as it goes on, it will develop more, just as this one has. Okay, and still is. This is beautiful. All right. Oh, here. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, guys, that is the first two of the day. The next one is going to be a ghost pour on a 16 by 20. Um, and I'm probably going to be using the same colors, red, black, and white on the ghost pour. That is the color of today. Yesterday was multicolors. There was cobalt blue, raw violet, bright, uh, bright blue, um, silvers, uh, light silver, gray silver and a gunmetal and a little bit of red. Today, today we're using the Georgia Bulldog colors, red, white, and black, okay? And uh, we'll mix it up. On the ghost pour, please join me right here on YouTube. If you have not already, please go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified of any new updates Again, Christmas, the holidays, Thanksgiving, New Year's, New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, um, Thanksgiving Eve is coming up. And uh, if you're looking for new designs, taking something old and making it appear to be something new and beautiful, please do join me. I guarantee you, if you don't have a good time, it's because you're not here. You Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you on my next pour. Bye-bye.